Well, it looks like it's hashtag feminist rant number two of the day. Uh, And that's because I just read about uh, Supreme Court Justice Bill O'Neill from Ohio. I guess good old Bill is running for the running for governor. And he felt that it was necessary to come out with a statement about what um, like what a what a sexy guy he is and that he's had sex with 50 and I quote very attractive females. Why is it that the use of the word females is such a dead giveaway, right, uh, about men's attitudes towards women? Very attractive females. Oh, okay, stud. So he felt that he had to come out with this revelation of his sexual past, um, he said, because the, quote, dogs of war have been coming for Senator Al Franken, and he wants to save, uh, O'Neill wants to save his critics some research time by, by coming clean about being a sexually active hetero dude. And he says, basically, like, I'm representing for the hetero guys. Because, I guess, because sexual harassment and predatory behavior is the same as having, like, a consensual sex life with a lot of different partners. Um, And he's a Democrat, which uh, nothing should surprise any of us anymore, but he's a Democrat. He's a Supreme Court justice, and he is uh, running for governor. And this is not clear to him. Bill O'Neill, no one cares how many sexy ladies you've been with. We don't care. Go for it. You know, go for it. Have fun. Enjoy. As long as everybody's there and wants to be there, nobody cares. I, we do care about Al Franken, like, miming, grabbing the boobs of a woman he's working with on the plane. Because that's inappropriate. That's disgusting. That's disrespectful. That's harassment. That's humiliating. Like, I have to explain this to you. The other thing, Your Honor, uh, in his statement, he talks about one of the women that he, he was with in his past, and he actually identifies where she was working at the time and said, and, and in a way that makes it super easy to find out who she is if anybody in the press wants to find out. Like they would, it would be very easy to figure it out. Not only, so he says where she works, and he also says that they had sex in her the the hayloft of her parents' barn. And I'm feeling like I'm feeling for this woman because it's going to make for some very awkward Thanksgiving conversation around her table. Uh, so he owes her an apology. Buffoon, ridiculous. Just another stupid, stupid chapter in this stupid, stupid um, environment of ignorance about what it means to be um, a responsible adult and just, you know, respecting women, respecting human bodies, having decent boundaries, um, preserving people's autonomy and dignity.